Sea breeze. No, I, di I didn't say we we're gonna catch a sea trout. I said we we're gonna see if we can catch a trout over there. Okay, let's go. You mean I wore the shirt for nothing? Oh man. Okay, it's physical. No, okay? chemical. It's, no, it's physical. Chemical. You can see it's physical. Chemical. What? Physical. Chemical. Physical. This is nice. Now, this is where you'll see a trout. We've made a physical change by changing our fishing spot despite the chemical changes going. No, Danny, you're missing the point. You see, matter cannot be created nor destroyed. So the real difference is, what's the difference between a physical change in matter and a chemical change? I told you for the last time, it's physical. Chemical. See this? <laughs> this is physical. And this limestone is about to get physically changed. Yeah, easy, you guys. You're gonna scare all the fish. Now, obviously, this is just a physical change because all you did is break this rock up into a whole bunch of tiny little pieces. You still have the same amount of rock and you still have the same total mass. But you wanna see some change? Check this out. <laughs> all right, you guys, physical or chemical? Oh, see those oh. bubbles there? That's your clue. Chemical change? Yeah, and you see those bubbles? They're full of carbon dioxide. See, that's a gas that's given off when the acid reacts with the calcium carbonate that's already in the rock. Oh, okay, I get it. It's a chemical change because the reaction formed a new substance. Exactly. Ha, <laughs> how about this one? Chemical or physical? Ah, that's easy, it's chemical. You see, the powder and the sugar mixes with water, forms a new substance, fruit drink. Huh, sorry bud, you're wrong this time. This sugar and powder is dissolving in the water, so it's a physical change. But chemically, the powder and the sugar, they're still in the cup. Ha. Atoms are just rearranged, so the total mass stays the same. We call this the conservation of mass. Trout! Okay, this is the good stuff, you guys. Just to put a little bit of... Oh! 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 This, this stuff's gone bad. Oh, you guys. Oh! My stomach already. Oh! Want an antacid? Have you ever seen one of these things dissolve? Ha! Is that a physical change? Whoa, look at the bubbles. Oh, wow. That's gotta be chemical. Yeah, but doesn't that break a major law? The law of conservation of mass? Nope, remember the bubbles? That is actually the missing mass being released as carbon dioxide gas. Wow. Well, okay, Smarty, what other clues can tell you that there's been a change? Well, some changes actually give off heat, like my hand warmers in my pack. Oh yeah, those are nice. One thing that makes chemical reactions different from physical changes is that the original substances chemically change into different substances, which have new chemical properties. The reactant substances cannot be physically recovered because they've been changed into the product substances. But you can always recover the original substances in a physical change, right? Yep. I mean, if we stayed here long enough with our orange drink over there, that water would evaporate and the powdered sugar mix would still be there. See? Wow, that's cool. Cool, so chemical reactions produce new substances that have different physical properties than the original substances. That's cool, I get it. Well, yeah, I mean, when the physical changes, they actually only change the appearance of the matter, while the matter itself stays the same. Hey, hey, Haley. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. look at that. Now here's something that you can try. Physical or chemical? 
And on your next adventure, make sure and write down in your log the different chemical and physical changes that are happening all around you. And remember to never stop exploring your world. All right, let's keep fishing. Yeah. Hey, this is my secret spot. Keep it moving. Run away, fish. I'm gonna get you.